Hey everyone, it's Erin, and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use your Ledger device with the Moonbeam Ledger Live app. I'll be covering how to import your Ledger account to MetaMask and sign transactions on your Ledger device. This guide uses a Ledger Nano X, but you can also follow along with a Ledger Nano S. Before diving in, there are a few prerequisites. First, connect your Ledger device to your computer and unlock it. Ensure you are using the latest version of Ledger Live and your device is running the latest firmware. Install the Moonbeam app from the Ledger Live app catalog and install MetaMask and connect to Moonbeam. For complete instructions on how to use your Ledger device with Moonbeam, including how to install the Moonbeam app, you can visit the doc site at docs.moonbeam.network. The link is in the description below. From the doc site, you can also connect MetaMask to Moonbeam using the button at the top of the page. To get started, you'll need to import your Ledger account to MetaMask, so go ahead and open up MetaMask. Click on the colored circle in the top right corner, then you can select Connect Hardware Wallet. From there, you can choose Ledger and Continue. If you're on Chrome, a pop-up should appear and you'll be able to select your device to connect via WebHID. If you're using another browser like Firefox, there's nothing for you to worry about. If MetaMask is able to connect successfully to your Ledger device, you'll see a list of Moonbeam accounts. If not, double check that Ledger Live is closed, you've connected your device to your computer and unlocked it, and that the Moonbeam app is open. From the list of accounts, select the account you'd like to import and unlock it. Now you can see your account balance in MetaMask. To copy your address to receive a transaction, for example if you needed to load your Ledger account up with Glimmer tokens, you can do so here. But to get started sending a transaction, go ahead and click on Send. Now enter the recipient's address. I'm going to enter in Alice's address. Enter the amount of Glimmer tokens to send and ingest the gas if you need to and click Next. From there, you can review the transaction details and to initiate the transaction on your ledger, go ahead and click Confirm. Over on your ledger device, you'll be prompted to review the transaction. Click the button on the right to proceed. Check that the recipient address is correct, and if so, click the right button. Verify the amount of Glimmer tokens looks correct, and click the right button again. Then you'll be shown the max gas fees for your transaction. This is the gas price multiplied by the gas limit that you set in MetaMask. Again, click the right button to proceed. If you agree with all the transaction details, you can approve the transaction. If not, you can click the right button one more time to get to the reject screen, and then click both buttons at the same time to reject the transaction. To approve it, you'll need to be on the accept and send screen, so click the left button to get back to that screen, and then go ahead and click both buttons to confirm the transaction. You'll see the transaction shows up under the activity tab on MetaMask, and once the transaction goes through, you'll see your balance has decreased. And that's it, you've successfully sent a transaction from your Ledger device. You can also interact with smart contracts using your Ledger device. Assuming you still have the Moonbeam app open on your device, go ahead and click the right button until you get to the settings screen. Click both buttons to see the settings available to change. You should see the blind signing screen, and it should show not enabled. To enable it, go ahead and click both buttons. And you're all set. Now you can interact with contracts using your Ledger device. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.